Okay, hello everyone. I'm going to set up a three axis tilt pan in linear motion with my SERP app and my time lapse plus view. I know you can't see it on here, but I have my view set to in, tap, in time lapse mode, I've got to set to auxiliary two. And I've got my auxiliary two going into my mini two. I have a mini one here with a sync cable going from there to the original SERP Genie. That's the way you get these two to communicate. Got my focus tape down. Got my heater on. I've got um, my pink cables going from time lapse over to my camera. I've got the focus set. And I've got the setting set for my camera to start with. Now I'm going to go into my SERP mode and set my intervals. The SERP will, the SERP will set intervals while the time lapse view controls the shutter speed. Now I've got my maximum shutter set for eight seconds at 3000 ISO. So I don't know if you can see this on here because it's so bright out, but I'm going to touch my Genie Mini does not have Wi-Fi. You have to use the Genie 1 on top of it, the first Genie, to create the Wi-Fi connection. Now I'm going to touch the second one, which is on top here, for the tilt. So both of them are connected. Now I want to get it lined up. So I'm going to go back and create content, and i got to do keyframes. I'm going to start a new setup. Now we want to get our starting position, which for me is going to be over to the right. So I'm going to bring it all the way to the right where I'm going to start at. And now I'm going to, I want to bring my pan around to where I'm starting. Kind of do something different. I'm just going to start higher in the sky right here, full here. So that's my starting position. Now my ending position is going to be I'm watching my cords, make sure everything's going to stretch my heater cable. Make sure it's going to make it. So I'm bringing it over. This is going to be my ending position. Okay. And then I want my pan to be over toward the sunset. But I'm actually going to go past the sunset. I've got to figure out the time now so that my sunset will be in the frame. Um, so this is my stop position. I want to make sure I get the stars in there. So now what I want to do is, on this app, it's going to come back now and reset. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is, halfway through this, I want the tilt to start going up only halfway through it, toward the end. So. I'm gonna help my tilt and I'm gonna bring it over to halfway wherever I want the want it to start tilting up. And that's right there. So I'm gonna create a key keyframe on my tilt line by touching this one here. There's a keyframe on my tilt line. So I'm gonna move that up. Well that's the wrong way, so I'm gonna move it down. I'm going to be level right here. And then as I go toward the end, I want this keyframe to be up higher, which is what it is. Let me see if I can go a little bit higher with this one. We need to set this up and be sure you always set this for time lapse. Now, now I'm going to set my record time, which is going to be, record time is going to be from five. I need to go to about nine so that's going to be four hours i actually want it to go maybe three and a half hours so i'm going to go three hours and 30 minutes now okay so my interval <clears throat> i want it to be a few seconds faster longer i mean excuse me a few seconds longer than the longest shutter speed I have set for my time lapse plus view, which is eight seconds. So I'm gonna start at 11, I'm gonna start at 10 and a half seconds. That gives the camera time enough to download the photo. The, my play time's gonna be 50 seconds. I'm just making sure my camera settings are right, that they haven't changed on me. 
Then I'm gonna go in and set my first frame to where it's not too much blown out there. So I'm at 2,000th of a second. So I've got a little bit of clipping, but and it may show up on there, but we'll ignore that. So now the first thing I wanna do is set start the intervalometer, which is the time lapse plus view. Start. And I'm going to wait on it to say above the picture here to say waiting on the auxiliary two. And it's saying it now. Now I can start my record. So now it's going to take a picture. <clears throat> and it looks pretty good. Now it's moving. It's taking a photo every 11 seconds. My maximum shutter is set to 8 seconds. So at 3000 ISO. So it's not going to go over that. And now I can walk off, turn my app off on my phone. It doesn't matter now. It's saved in the memory. And it's going to fire now.